Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot and we're here doing your August 2021 career and finance reading. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. And if you're returning, welcome back. I'm truly grateful for all of your likes, shares, subscribes, and your fabulous energy. Just a reminder to everybody, this is a general reading. So as always, there'll be a bunch of different messages that come out. Not everything will apply to everybody. Just take what resonates with your situation and leave the rest behind. Also, if you enjoy the content that I create and the readings that I put up, that I put up, excuse me, um, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell, which will let you know when I put up my next readings. Let's see what we have for you guys. We have the honoring path coming up first with kindred partnership. This is absolutely beautiful. Some of you, the, uh, the honoring path first and foremost, some of you are about to get rewarded for something, something that you have really worked on for a very long time. And this could come in the form of like, say a public, um, uh, like public, like in your workplace or even public recognition outside of the workplace too. Um, you know, it could be that someone really brings, uh, your accomplishments to the attention of someone higher up and that puts you in better alignment for, uh, you know, additional promotions or raises or, you know, anything like that along the line, probably more work too, to be honest. Okay. But it's a wonderful energy stand in the spotlight. Some of you may also have the opportunity to take the lead in something. All right. To show them what you're made of. Okay. And when we have the honoring path energy, you're ready. All right. Um, you know, this is your time to shine, Scorpio. All right. This is your time to get your rewards, to stand in your spotlight, to be uniquely you. You're radiant. You shine. Okay. If you are looking for a job right now or if whatever you put yourself out there for, whatever you intend to do, this is the time. You will, can be successful in whatever it is that you put your time, energy, and attention towards right now. You are in that spotlight energy. Embrace it. Kindred partnership is out here as well. Um, now, some of you are going to meet somebody new. All right. This is somebody who you may instantly click with. All right. They're on the same page as you. You share a vision. You share a common goal. Now, this could come um, from a new person that you work with on something, maybe a new project, a new job. Um, this can be someone that you may already know as well. OK, but it's someone that you really click with. And you can brainstorm, you can share ideas and someone that you can really partner up with. And, you know, on kind of more of a more than a mundane, you know, I got to work with you kind of level. All right. Something just a little bit deeper than that. OK. And, you know, I mean, you know, I got to say that, you know, because it is kindred partnership coming out. OK. Some of you will be meeting not just a new business associate, someone uh, like a new colleague. Um, some of you may actually form a deeper bond, like a friendship or possibly even a romantic interest. All right. Not everyone wants to know that in a career reading, but let's face it. We spend a lot of time in the workplace. Things happen. Okay. Um, but this is a wonderful, wonderful energy that's coming in here for you. I also feel that for some of you, there is a business, um, a business opportunity on the horizon uh, to really get with somebody that um, understands you, right? And you can really create something wonderful. It's like almost like you're coming home and it's where you're meant to be and it's what you're meant to do, all right? So um, when we have all this wonderful energy expanding for you, we've got Aquarian energy that's, uh, that's really prevalent throughout August, um, especially all the way up to the Aquarian full moon, the end of August. Um, it's, uh, you may be feeling a little bit rebellious. You may be feeling a little bit innovative that, um, kind of inspirational energy that you've gotten. You're just thinking about things a little bit differently. You also have the ability, um, you know, to tap into that Aquarian energy to do something different, dare to dream big. Mars is, uh, Mars is at play infusing you with a little bit of extra, um, extra energy to get things done. All right, a little bit of bravery as well. Okay, Pluto may give a little bit of a disruption throughout the month there as well. So, you know, some of you may be kind of have, you know, a couple of up days, a couple of down days. Okay, all that kind of thing. Um, but this is also a time when your manifestations start to come to fruition. And some of you have set your intentions long ago. 
And with this Aquarian full moon, um, you know, coming up, coming up again, we had one right at the end of July. So back to back Aquarian full moons. Okay, so, um, but some of you are starting to see your world open up. It's an expansion energy. Your manifestations are starting to come in. Opportunities open up for you. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Dare to be a little bit different as well. Try something just a little bit new. Venus is also at play as well. And when we have Venus in the mix, relationships are really highlighted. All right, and this is, you know, where you may be doing some thinking about what's important to you. All right, and, you know, yes, you need to work. You need to put a roof over your head and pay your bills and all of those wonderful things. Um, but at the same time, you may be thinking that there's something else. There's something that you might be missing there. And so you might just be looking for something that's a little bit more emotionally or creatively satisfying as far as your career path goes. But you might be partnering up with someone or you may even be meeting someone that can um, uh, really open up your world and expand your energy a little bit there. So let's see what we've got for you. We've got the six of earth coming out right in the center of your reading. Some of you are getting a little bit of a surprise. All right, um, the six of earth, uh, the energy is the law of giving and receiving. Um, honest days work for honest days pay. Some of you guys have this already, others of you, not so much. All right, that might be what you're in search of. Okay, you don't mind working hard, you don't mind putting yourself out there, and you don't mind sharing your knowledge, your skills, your experience, but at the same time, you may be on that quest for, you know, you don't want to be taken advantage of, right? You don't mind working extra hours as long as you get paid for it, right? It's not your business, not your company, right? You know, why should you sit there and work your fingers to the bone for someone else's, right? So pay what you're, you know, you may be looking to get paid exactly what you're worth, Maybe a little bit more if we want to be really a little bit honest there. All right. But the six of earth energy is also um, possibly a little bit of a financial relief, a financial surprise, something that you weren't necessarily expecting. Okay. It could be something as simple as, you know, just a little small raise or you know, some sort of perk that you may get for finishing a project, all right? It may even um, come in the form of a job opportunity that actually pays you a little bit more than what you thought it would. Um, some of you have gone out on some interviews and things already, and uh, you may have your, you may be thinking that the job might pay, you know, a certain amount of money, and then the offer comes in and it's just that little bit more, and you're like, oh my goodness, this is actually really quite wonderful, all right? But the Six of Earth can also represent um, somebody um, somebody owning their own business. The traditional imagery of this card is one person standing, all right, one person standing there and, um, uh, you know, handing out money to people. Sometimes it represents a little bit of charity, but it can also represent you being a business owner, all right, being someone in charge and paying your employees, okay, doling out something to your employees, all right, so um, you, if you don't have that already, all right, you may be on a quest for that, thinking of how you can open up your own business, what you can do. But I feel some of you here are really waiting for um, a surprise, something, uh, I, you know, I'd like to say an unexpected surprise, okay, because the Six of Earth does represent an unexpected surprise, but now, of course, we you know, of course, a surprise is always unexpected, isn't it? Um, so unexpected resources, thank you, all right, that may come as a little bit of a surprise. So you may get some unexpected help um, from somebody, either um, knowledge, information, financial, or maybe some offer that you didn't quite expect. But now, of course, it's not quite so much a surprise. Okay, so what is crossing you? We've got the three of earth. So um, finding the right people to partner up with may be a little bit of a challenge right now. The three of earth is one of teamwork, collaboration, working together to build something, to expand something, achieve a common goal. And, you know, so for some of you, this is what you're searching for, the right people to partner up with, the right workplace, the right environment that really allows you to be yourself and utilize all of your skills to the best of your ability and make some money. Um, others of you may be in a workplace situation right now where you're not working together. People aren't a cohesive unit. There, you know, there may be some backstabbing. People don't see eye to eye. There's no diplomacy, right? And everyone's just kind of, 
you know, out for themselves, right? You know, it's always nicer when people work together, obviously, right? But um, you may just be in that in that situation where you don't have that right now. So you may be looking, you might be putting the feelers out there um, to find something a little bit better. All right. But I am also feeling here that with this three of earth energy that uh, some of you coupled with the six of earth, all right, you might be looking for just um, some of you might be looking for a bit of financial backing, especially if you've got your own business, you're thinking of opening up your own or expanding it as well. All right. You may be seeking out um, some sort of financial assistance there. Okay. And uh, that will allow you to expand. You've got something good going and, you know, sometimes it's just a matter of just finding the funds, right? And that right person, that kindred partnership, maybe someone that comes into your life, um, you know, either by accident, by design. I mean, there's no coincidences, right? Um, but someone that just comes in at the right time. All right. And, you know, just, you know, it's quite often our manifestations, okay, our dreams come about in the form of opportunities, people, situations, all of these good things, doors just start to open up. All right. So you may be um, some of you might be looking for that, something that you can, um, someone that you can really uh, have a good working relationship with and then possibly, of course, that um, financial backing, if that is you there. Beneath you, you're looking for some change, okay? This is your underlying feelings. So what's moving you forward? This is the death card, okay? So this is your energy, all right? You really have, you've got it together. You know what you want deep down. Some of you might be a little bit hesitant to make a little, make some change. You might not want to let something go, all right, until you've got something better, like in writing, like a really solid offer in writing, right? Because you don't necessarily want to like all of a sudden walk out on your current job and just leave yourself destitute, right? That's really not a good thing. Um, unless you got some money in the bank, but why waste it? All right, but the, um, the death card, this is the time of, you know, really making some positive change. And it's really what moving move, is moving you forward. Change is what is propelling you um, to make deci decisions, put yourself out there. You want to make improvements in your financial situation, in your career path. And, you know, sometimes to do that, if you look at this card, this person that has all these hot embers um, in their hand and they're blowing them away and whatever is left is what you're going to keep. Anything that's not working for you, anything that is part of your past, anything you want to leave behind, blowing it into the wind, okay, like those burning embers, all right, and just keeping the good parts, keeping your knowledge, your skills, your experiences, things that you can build upon, some of you may have just outgrown a position at the moment as well, all right? You might be thinking differently. Your priorities may have changed, all right? But when we have transformation, this change is really what your um is is really what is your uh, underlying feelings, okay? And some of you may not necessarily quite realize it until maybe now, okay? Um, you know, but for others, you're really very aware, okay? And deep down, you just know, you might be stuck in a rut at the moment, but you know that number one, you may need to take action and make some change, but others of you, you feel this change coming. Intuitively, you just know that there's, um, you know, a shift in the energy that's coming in here for you, right? And that's helping you keep it together or tough something out, okay? Or to stay optimistic as well, all right, and you've got a really good sense of self, especially, um, you know, with the death card coming out here, embracing your energy, but also the honoring path, right? You're, this is really your time to shine, Scorpio. And if you're looking to make some change, put those feelers out there, okay? You have the opportunity to really shine. Um, you know, if you're looking for a job, you may have been looking for quite a while. Stay optimistic, stay focused. When we've got the death card here, all right, you may want to expand your horizons a little bit, all right? Um, you may want to check out different industries, perhaps even different positions. Um, not every company labels positions the same way. So there may be something um, out there for you that just may be kind of just at the side of your peripheral vision at the moment. So there may be a need to kind of um, expand your search functions, um, you know, uh, you might even with kindred partnership energy, you might even want to join, um, like uh, do some networking, 
um, somehow. Okay. Now that could be from, you know, like a governmental agency might have some resources available for you. Um, but it could even just be like, if you have a specific industry in mind, like, I don't know what, let's say you're, I don't know. Um, let's say you're a hairdresser. All right. And you're a hairstylist, right. And you specialize in something and you know, there's, uh, you know, there's a lot of still tricky energy that's around, but there might be something that you can do. There are some association you can join, or maybe even, um, you know, network with some people, go out and meet some people. And that may actually open up your energy for you there. Okay. You may even want to do something like you know, um, sample your services or something like that, right? Word of mouth, get some, get the ball rolling on something. And of course, that's just an example, right? But, um, you know, that's an example of something that you can do. Something that gets you out there, all right, to meet a diverse, um, more diverse people. And sometimes when you get to chatting with somebody, you just never know what's going to open up. That six of earth, there's something unexpected that may be, on, may be coming in there for some of you, all right? And how do you find that? You might want to put yourself out there. Your recent past, the moon. The moon energies are going to be very important for you. Um, it feels as though some of you have started, uh, you know, setting your intentions, manifestations with the moon cycles. All right. And, you know, with the, um, you know, with the full moon in Aquarius that we just had uh, July 23rd, uh, you may have really felt this quite strongly, Scorpio. All right. And you may have just felt this underlying tug, especially with the transformation energy here with that death card energy. Okay. That change, you may be feeling a need for change. There may be, um, feelings coming up to the surface that you had kept hidden deep desires. All right. And you may, um, there may be like uh, a fantasy that you've even kept, um, kept buried, right? Maybe at some point, maybe you're really good at something, but at some point along your pathway, Someone told you, oh, don't, don't pursue that. You'll never succeed. You'll never, you'll, you'll never be good at that. You'll never make money. And, but there may be something just tugging at your heartstrings there a little bit, that gut feeling that you've got coming to the surface. And, you know, if there's something that you can't get out of your head and this idea that keeps popping up in your consciousness, right? Maybe when you're least expecting it, some ideas, some thoughts, some inkling, um, there may be a need to explore that. That's your intuition tugging you. All right. That's your, um, you know, that's your, your, uh, your underlying feelings. That's really coming to the surface. there, really trying to guide you. And sometimes we do ignore our intuition because we just think that we're just being silly or we're being obsessed or we've been trained to think that, no, 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 that's just ridiculous. That's just a pipe dream. That's just a fantasy, but there may be something there. And so it may be worth exploring. Um, the moon can be about illusion as well. So there may be something where you're seeing the light, you're seeing the truth about a situation. Um, you know, as you're like, you're like bringing things out into the open and, you know, you know, you may have been coasting along in a workplace right now and you're like, oh, it's fine. You know, I don't know. It's a job. It's okay. And, you know, but with this moon energy and this transformation energy coming out for you, you might just really be having, um, these aren't epiphany cards, but I feel that some of you are really just having that aha moment, that light bulb moment that allows you to kind of see things for where they really are, what they really are and help you kind of, um, expand your, um, thinking about the future. All right. But when we get the moon energy, um, you know, this really is, is a very psychological energy. If we reduce card 18, it actually reduces down to the hermit. Okay, so the hermit energy, that soul searching, that deep thinking, looking for guidance, trying to figure out where you're meant to be, what you're meant to do. And when we've got the moon, sometimes there may be something that you've been afraid of doing. And now you're, you're thinking about it. Sometimes we don't like change. All right. We don't like thinking differently. We don't like trying something new. Human beings are uh, very much creatures of habit. All right. But um, when we got that moon, there may be something that you've been thinking of trying, doing or changing um, that you've been afraid of doing. So when we get the moon, it's feel the fear and do it anyway. What is it that you're afraid of? What do you need to improve in your life? Are you afraid of being in the spotlight? Oh, right. If you're a shy person, if you're an introvert, oh my God, being in the spotlight is the worst thing on the worst thing on the planet. But that may actually open up 
you to your path to success. It may actually be where you're meant to be. You know what? You can put your game face on, Scorpio. Okay. No, I don't think anything's really hold you will hold you back for too too long, right? So you know, sometimes you need to take a little bit of a risk, a little bit of a chance, um, in order to find your success, in order to find your way forward. All right, so you may have something, you may have something there, all right, that you just need to kind of not necessarily throw caution to the wind because we don't want you to be reckless. Granted, the Aquarian energy really does give you some rebelliousness, all right, and that willingness and that energy, uh, the capability to detach from something that's been holding you down or holding you back. So that may be the, that energy that you're really tapping into. So between now and the next full moon may be a really wonderful, beautiful time of transformation for you guys. All right. So uh, let's see what is crowning you, the queen of water. All right. Finding something you love, the queen of cups energy, healing energy is very spiritual energy as well. All right. Um, not only is it an energy of healing, finding something you love, um, you know, really connecting with your emotions, connecting with your feminine side, male or female. It's just about the energy. Right. Um, but some of you may actually be having a little bit of an awakening. What path are you meant to be on that deep searching energy with the moon and that hermit energy on the side? that transformation energy. Some of you are experiencing a great shift within yourself and your belief systems. Others of you, you may have some natural talent ability as a healer. Um, you may be considering pursuing um, a profession like nursing career. Um, did you at some point uh, were you at some point being pushed into medical school and you railed against it because, you know, you may have had some other uh, things in mind um, or you may not have been, um, uh, you may not have had the maturity level at some point um, to commit to something like that, right? It takes a long time, but now you may be considering that, right? You're, it's your calling. It might be where you're meant to be. Spiritual healer, mental healer, counselor of some sort, even a teacher, six of earth, you may be a teacher. All right. So, but that queen of water, um, ultimately is being really emotionally connected with your career path, with what you do for work. We spend so much time in the workplace, right? Um, you spend more time at work most likely than you do at home. And why not love what you do? Make money at it, be paid what you're worth, okay, and, you know, um, be rewarded for the time and energy that you put in, but also that emotional connection. So that kindred partnership may be really what some of you are really searching for, all right, and especially if you're in this three of earth topsy-turvy energy where you're in an environment where no one's working together, okay, or even that three of earth, you may have hit that glass ceiling, right? There may be no more room in your current situation for advancement, improvement, money. All right. And, you know, sometimes we have workplaces like that. There's nothing really wrong with them. And, you know, they pay us a decent wage, but sometimes we just have that little tug within us. So you may be craving some more, right? And, you know, that, you know, floating on by may not necessarily be enough for you. All right. The queen of water can also represent somebody that you're thinking of, that you may go to for some sort of advice. Um, they may help you, um, they may help you just hash something out and get something in the open. All right. And it's very loving, um, very loving energy with that queen of water. So there may be a friend, a family member, um, even a kindred spirit, a kindred partnership. All right. Someone new that comes in, all right, that you can really talk to and that you can really connect with. And this person may just be here to give you um, a little bit of advice, show you the way forward, give you some ideas. All right. It's wonderful energy with the queen of water, your near future, the king of air. Now the king of air taking action. All right. Speaking your truth, being honest with yourself. All right. This is the, this is the masculine energy coming in, right? We've got the feminine energy, that thinking energy, that moon, that introspective energy, and then Boom, baby, in comes in this king, all right, who is ready to take action, is ready to move you forward, ready to um, ready to speak up, 
All right. The king of air doesn't mind being in the spotlight. All right. Um, you know, so for some of you, this is really taking charge. Um, this is, you know, developing a strategy, thinking logically. All right. It's where logic um, really kind of comes in and rules the day. Right. We've got this you know, feminine watery energy with the moon and um, with the moon and the queen of cups there. All right. And, you know, once you uh, once you work through that energy, now is that time. Logic, emotion uh, needs to take a little bit of a back seat. All right. Because how do we how do we follow our dreams? How do we face our fear? Detach ourselves from anything that is cutting us off, that's holding us back, that's preventing us from moving forward. And that king of air, that sword, that that's king of swords, right? That sword, okay, is one that helps you detach, all right? Helps you, um, you know, that air energy, that communicative energy, the thinking energy is really what is, what is you know, coming in. Um, to help you make decisions, okay? It is decisive energy. Sometimes that queen of water, as wonderful as that energy is, and same with the moon energy, is not necessarily one of making the tough decisions. The king of air is, though. All right. So for some of you, you're really coming into your own sense of self there, and you're like, no, okay, you know what? I've made a decision, and this is what I need to do. Pros and cons. What are the pros and cons? What do I need to do first? A to-do list, right? A good old honey-do list, all right? And sometimes that actually helps us um, uh, put together a plan, putting something down on paper, all right? That king of air also is that communication that uh, you are putting in and also communication that's coming back as well, all right? And, you know, so there may be someone coming in that can, that you can really communicate with. You may go marching in and have a, have a meeting with your boss. You may be going on interviews as well. Okay. Or at least putting yourself out there, revising your resume, um, pounding the pavement, um, taking a little bit of a chance on something, believing in yourself as well. That king of air is full of self-confidence. So if you need to go on interviews, that's that energy that you can really tap into, okay? Um, you know, really, you have the ability there with um, this King of Air energy to express yourself, all right, in a very positive way. Get your point across without coming across as floofy, okay, or, uh, you know, wishy-washy in any way. It's like straight, clear, concise, to the point, but also positive, not arrogant, all right, not anything like that. Okay, but you um, have the ability to come uh, come across as very intelligent as well. All right, and you are okay, and you can highlight your skills, accomplishments, and goals without coming across as that um, you know kind of arrogant energy or pompous or know it all or anything like that. So you have the ability to achieve whatever it is, all right, that you're looking to or let go or at least mentally remove yourself from a situation, okay, or emotionally detach from a situation, because some of you might not necessarily be able to make physical movements at the moment, okay, and, you know, for some of you, you know, you may, uh, you may be taking a different strategy on trying to find a job, right, because a lot of people are still out of work, okay, and, but there's something there with that transformation energy, some strategy that you may need to revise, something that you need to go back to the drawing board, all right, and you know, you might need to kind of think about something a little bit differently. But the king of air is also one of intuition, using your intuition, trusting your intuition in all areas. All right, um, it's the ideas that are flowing in, those aha moments, that light bulb, seeing things with clarity, with purpose, with truth. Okay, understanding where you're meant to be. Some of you may also be. Um, getting some advice from someone like that as well. This could possibly be someone that comes in that you're on the same page with. They may offer you a job. It could just be someone that you can really talk to. All right, that networking energy um, that may be coming into play, right? You never know what you might find. Your current attitude, aha, the ace of air. Look at that. There's your epiphany moment. 
All right. Um, love the Ace of Air. This is the Ace of Swords. All right. This is you, your current attitude and advice that you would give to yourself as well. So the Aces are always wonderful energies, of course. Right. The age Aces are always lucky. The Ace of Air. You are looking for you are looking to find your purpose. You're looking for something new. The Aces are all about new energy, fresh energy. So if you are currently working, you may be looking for a ne the next project, the next challenge. You might be looking to um, make improvements, all right, Bringing, bring in some new energy, new ideas, all right. Some of you are looking to really make a big change with that transformation energy, all right, but this is, this is the energy fate intervenes in your situation, okay? Destiny is, is um, really opening up for you. You're, you're where you're meant to be, whether you feel like you are or not. Doors are opening up for you. Ideas are flowing in, okay? You've got the ability to really communicate on in, in a very, very positive way. And, you know, we already, uh, we already did touch on that, right? So um, epiphany moments, aha moments, but victory and success are yours for the taking, all right? And this ace of air and the king of air, um, sometimes they take a little bit of a chance, all right? Wherever you put yourself out right now, it's positive, 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 new communication, fresh communication, positive communication, solving problems, all right? Because some of you are just, uh, you're just looking to solve a problem. You might just be looking to get some clarity about something, all right? Especially in that six of earth energy, if you're looking to make some sort of investment in something, all right? Um, the three of earth, you may be getting some advice, like some financial planning advice right now that you don't necessarily... It's not necessarily that you don't trust it, um, but there's something not quite, uh, not quite right about it. Maybe it's a little bit too conservative for you, so you may be seeking out some other advice. All right, something, um, you know, something that may be a little bit riskier to pay you a little bit more rewards, more dividends, a little bit more return on your investment without risking at all. Okay, you might be feeling that you can probably. Um, you know, expand your your investments just a little bit. All right, so you might be seeking out some other advice there. Okay, making a little bit of a change in that area. Okay, especially if you're dealing with a financial planner that I mean, they're fine, they're honest and all that kind of stuff, but um, they might not be. Uh, there's a difference between being reckless and taking a little bit of an educated um, gamble. All right, or an educated risk, right? And, but not that reckless behavior. You don't want to lose everything. All right, so there may be someone, someone new that you can seek out, and that really understands, um, it really understands what you're looking for. All right, and someone that can be just a little bit more on your page, on your wavelength, on your way of thinking. All right, but that Ace of Air is about, um, about communication, right? About um, in some cases, taking the lead, speaking up for yourself. Okay, it is also the law of a car the law of karma. Okay, so good karma that is really coming in for you, and this does represent the forces of transformation. All right, so you're really looking for something a little bit better than whatever your current situation is. All right, energy around you influencing the situation. We've got the Queen of Fire. All right. Um, you got quite a few people cards that are coming out. All right. And the queen of fire, yes, can represent a person. This is your external. This is not you. All right. And this could be energy that's influencing you. Okay. But it could also be people that are influencing you. So as far as energy that's influencing you, here's that fiery energy that's coming in here. Okay. So where you may have felt a little bit lethargic, um, a little bit, uh, how do you want to say, um, a little bit lazy even maybe okay um you may have just been uninspired all right the queen of fire energy is coming in here to light that fire under your butt 
okay, to get you going, to get you moving, get you taking a little bit of action, right? And this is that energy, it's bringing you in that passion that you may have been lacking, right? The earth energy, I mean, while it's very grounded energy, okay, these are your only two money cards so far. So for some of you, okay, we only have the two money cards right in the middle and we've got all this other transformational, um, emotional um, thinking energy that's around you. Um, so money isn't necessarily everything, okay? Following your heart, being emotionally satisfied, fulfilled, um, having a sense of purpose, all right, but also, you know, having something that you can really be very passionate about, something that, you know, really does, um, uh, really does make you get up out of bed every morning excited to go to work. And that's that energy that's coming in here for you with that queen of fire. All right, really getting you moving, getting you going, finding your passion, finding your inspiration. All right. Um, you know, this could also be, there might be an opportunity coming in here where you can actually be an inspiration to others as well. We do have a six of earth there. All right. And again, that can be you really taking the lead with something that, um, honoring path that's there. Okay. Being in the lead queen of fire, very much like that honoring path energy. The queen of fire doesn't mind being in the spotlight. All right. So there may be an opportunity coming in here for you that really does tap into your talents and your skills. You may have an something that you may actually end up having the opportunity to be a huge influence on other people and impart your um, your ideas, your skills, your knowledge, and um, you know something you can really help others along their way. So let's see what else is here in your external environment. What else do we have for Scorpio, please? External influences, external environment, please. Thank you. Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords, Eight of Wands. Okay, so hmm, something's got to end for something new to come in. All right, see the contrast there? Um, you're starting a new cycle, okay? But you may need to put an end to something here with the Ten of Swords energy in order to find your happiness. What change do you need to make? Out with the old, in with the new. Something in the Ten of Swords energy may have already ended. And there may be more than one opportunity coming in here for you. Now, if you're out of work and you've gone on your interviews and you felt as though you know there's doors slamming in your face here right you may be on the quest for your ultimate happiness doors keep slamming in your face and yet you keep putting yourself out there all right and in this energy if you keep putting yourself out there okay you can really get the ball rolling things are starting to shift for you Two energies of, um, you know, new cycles coming in. Tens are endings, but they lead way to new beginnings, okay? Um, so even though you may have um, had a difficult time here, all right, there's happiness coming in here for you. But again, something may need to um, change, may need to come to, a, um, to an end, all right? You may need to detach from something. And it could just be, um, it could just be, uh, you know, a... a making that decision to leave your current situation, making a decision to abandon, um, you know, a path that you were on, all right, and to embrace something that ultimately may make you a little bit happier, all right. Um, the Eight of Wands is that positive energy that's coming in. It's a reminder that whatever energy that you put out into the universe, it's coming back to you. We've got karma here with that ace of air. And, you know, we do need to always, we're always in an energy of manifestation, whether we realize it or not. And this is that reminder, the eight of wands, things are happening for you, things are shifting for you, but you need to shift your focus here from being negative or from being impatient or down in the dumps and embrace you're happy and believe with this Ten of Cups energy that anything is possible. Believe in yourself, all right? And, you know, you need to shift that shift that energy there a little bit because sometimes if we do continue to have doors slammed in our face, sometimes it's really, really, really hard to maintain a positive outlook, all right? But manifestations are coming in here for you with this Eight of Wands energy, okay? What are you manifesting? 
that or are you manifesting that? Think about it. Always manifest from a place of abundance because then that is what will come in. If we manifest from a place of negativity, doubt, fear, worry, all those bright and shiny energies, okay, that is what will come in. So Spirit's reminding you the, um, the energy that's around you is manifestation, is um, things are shifting in a very positive way for you, but it all hinges on your thoughts and your feelings, all right, and your beliefs that things are happening for you, all right? So it feels here there's some wonderful things coming in and some wonderful energy coming in for you here. Be open to new experiences, new people, new ideas, okay? Fresh energy coming in here, all right? And that helps you clear the air. And you see what happens. The Ten of Swords, when we let something go, something new comes right in. So something new is knocking at your doorstep, but you may need to leave something behind. All right. And with that swords, with the swords energy being about your communication, your thoughts, um, you know, all of those things, okay, all of the mental aspects, we quite often, um, you know, spirits, <laughs> spirit doesn't want you to just go bolting out your, out your um, workplace door and say, hasta la vista, guys, see you later. Um, without having a backup plan, okay, spirit never wants you to really be destitute. But quite often, we leave a situation mentally, emotionally, well before we take physical movements. So this, this Ten of Swords may be you really coming to that final conclusion that no, no, we need to find something better. We need to focus our attention into something wonderful, something abundant. The Eight of Wands, by the way, is abundance that's coming in, all right? We want abundance of happy, abundance of joy, success, emotional fulfillment. We don't want an abundance of, you know, um, of uh, sadness or stabby, ba stabby in the back energy or, you know, icky workplace energy, right? We want all the positive aspects. So, um, you know, really be focused, really be mindful of your thoughts and your feelings, okay? Manifestations are really coming in this shift of energy, all right? So be open to new people, new ideas, new everything, okay? Be open. Hopes and fears, we've got the four of air, all right? You're really hoping that you can find your peace in a situation, find closure even, all right? That ten of, that ten of swords may be the need for closure, shutting down a cycle, all right, and to find something a little bit better. You're looking for something that puts your mind at ease, something that's a little bit um, better for you, okay? And again, that six of earth energy that we've got right in the center of your reading, honest days work for honest days pay, that three of earth that's there, you may not feel um, like you're working with other people very well, or, you know, you may be, uh, you might be the one that's you know, doing all the heavy lifting and other people are skating by, right? So the four of air, you're looking for, you know, something that brings you um, that peace, okay? That, you know, and it doesn't mean that, doesn't necessarily mean that you're looking for a job that's kind of like easy every day. I mean, granted, that would be nice, right? An easy job where you get like a mega paycheck, huh? Uh, I don't know if those exist. If they do, you let me know. All right, um, I'll work on work for you. All right, but, um, you know, but the four of air is something where you're looking to have something that is, you know, not just, I'm not just emotionally satisfying, satisfi satisfying, thank you, um, but also something that's a little bit more peaceful. All right, the four of air is that energy of peace. All right, something where you can, af you can afford to, not just time, but also money, to um, take some time out for yourself, a healthy work home life balance, right? Um, you know, balance with that six of earth energy. Okay, so, um, you know, this is way more of a, a hope than any kind of fear. Um, but you may be just hanging on to a little bit of fear or doubt, okay, with that ten of swords energy. Okay, um, that, you know, what if I don't find it? What if I don't do this? What if I'm stuck here forever? What if I never find a job? All right, and Spirit says, no, 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 no. Focus on what's new. 
focus on what's positive, okay? There's a lot of things happening in the background for you and Spirit really wants to remind you of that, okay? So you may need to really um, find some closure with something, okay, in order for you to move on. Tap into that Aquarian energy of detachment, okay? The moon cycle is very important for you there, all right? But I feel there's something very positive for you coming in. Your overall outcome, the seven of air, all right? And I'm gonna pull another card for this one. But the seven of air, is about non-conformity, um, being uniquely you, being a leader. And if you see this one, this looks like Mother Goose, right? This, uh, you know, this uh, angel in this card and all these geese um, are around her, flocking to her, right? Imprinted, right? So you may find yourself in a position where you can be of great influence to other people, all right? You can be the leader. You can be someone that other people look up to um, using your wisdom, your experience, okay? Your communication skills, even with um, with the seven of air. But this is one of, you know, of nonconformity, of being the leader rather than the follower, taking lead, taking charge of your own life, of your own, um, you know, of your own career path, right? Um, being very authentic and very truthful, all right, with not just yourself, but also with other people. It's also an energy of nonconformity, not people pleasing, being unique, being true to yourself, your ideas, your thoughts, your belief systems. It's also an energy of independence. So six of earth energy, some, someone may be considering opening their own business, the seven of air independence. So you may be finding yourself in a situation, you may be finding your way forward where you can gain some independence and not be reliant um, on anyone else for how you make your money. So let's just get a little bit more information with that seven of air. All right, because it's really kind of a thinking energy. So what else do we need to know for the overall outcome, please, for Scorpio? What else do we need to know? Um, as far as numbers go, while I'm getting some cards here, um, we do have those two tens. So ten ten, you may want to look up the uh, further meanings of ten tens. Um, but those tens reduce to one. So we have one 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 with the ace of air. And we also have one with the people card as well. So we actually have 1111 that's coming out for you. All right. Very spiritual energy. You are being very much guided every step of the way. Okay. Trust your intuition. That king of air energy. Trust your inner, inner, your intuition, your inner guidance system. All right. And you are really being very protected, very guided every step of the way. All right. We also do have two sevens out there for you too, right? We've got seven, which is intention, the honoring path. And then we have the seven of air, very similar kind of energy there. All right. Really um, getting a good sense of self. All right. Breaking free from anything holding you back. All right. Let's just see. Thank you. One. Let me see two more. Let me see what we got here. We've got the 10 at whole. Look at that. And that was the one that flipped over. We've got the 10 of pentacles. We've got the five of wands and we've got the eight of pentacles. All right. This is wonderful energy. Okay. You may need to, you may need to put it, you put yourself out there and compete for something that five of wands energy can be an energy of competition. It also quite often is my online job search card and also my online dating card as well. All right. Because it's, it, because it does represent a whole bunch of people competing to achieve the same goal. All right, the, the same end game there. So you may really need to put yourself out in the competition, put yourself out in the fray, all right, but stand out in a crowd with that seven of air energy to find your ultimate happiness, success, your lot of stability. Find that job opportunity that, you know, you do what you love, you love what you do, your work, you work hard at it, you're invested in it, but you love every minute of it. But you got to put yourself out there a little bit with that, um, with that five of wands energy, but the ten of the ten of pentacles as far as you know a career a finance reading goes. All right, that's the big kahuna. That's the big. That's the big daddy. That's the hot tamale. This is what you want, right? Success in home, um, your home, your work, your finances, right? That security, okay. That long term security that's there. 
okay with the five of um with the five of wands energy you may also um you may also actually be stepping into that leadership role okay gathering um a bunch of people together ragamuffin group of people okay that um you know may not necessarily um have had proper leadership all right but that might be something that you can provide so ultimately we do have uh we do have great things coming in here for you okay um we have growth we've got stability we've got that success energy we've got you really coming into your good sense of self knowing who you are what you want um and being true to yourself as well all right things are really opening up for you remember we've got um you know we've got opportunities coming in here for you okay that 8 of wands a lot of opportunities it feels okay but you do need to put yourself out there a little bit all right network as well okay in that energy love it though okay love it though things are things are changing for you i mean you've got you've got three tens coming out i mean of course sure one of one of them is an ending okay um you know or putting something putting cutting something off finding closure in something as well all right but you know but you've got the 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles like those are pretty good all right so let's leave that there. We're going to close out your reading with the wisdom of the oracle. We'll get the prosperity message out of this one. So one last message, please, for Scorpio. One last message for Scorpio, please. Thank you. And we have poised. Yes. Look at this card. This is one of my favorite cards in this entire deck. Look at that. You are right on the edge, okay? You're ready to start something new. You're ready to make improvements. Um, there's good things coming in here for you. You're open. You're ready. Um, you know, you're putting yourself out there and you are just, you're right there. You're waiting. You're right there on the edge, okay? So that poised energy is you're just ready to take something um, by control. So let me just grab the, where is it? Grab the book for you here. I'm going to read you the entire prosperity message because I can ad lib this until the cows come home, but uh, this is your career. This is your money. So I want you to get the entire message. I just don't want to miss anything. Here we go. Poise, the essential meanings, being ready, bringing something to light, being at your best and confidence. All right. How much does that match? The honoring path. Okay. That seven of air energy as well. So let's get you the prosperity message. Here it is. You have every reason to feel confident. Everything you need to make your success concrete is now at your disposal. You can take action knowing that we, knowing you are ready to step into your power, into your light, and into your service to the world. The direction you're moving in, the direction you're moving in is your destiny. Ha ha, ace of air. Your soul is smiling with joy as you align with its truth. I'm going to leave that there for you, Scorpio. Okay? So be open. Be ready. Great things. All right? So I hope there was something in this reading that resonated with you. Um, might have been a little bit. Hopefully it was the whole thing. Um, but if there was, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you have a fantastic month. All right. I wish you all the best. Love and light. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.